सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड ये मेरा ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन है बेटा दिस इज माई कंस्ट्रेंट तो बॉर्डर्ड हिस्सियन की मतलब सफिशियंसी कंडीशन क्या बोलती है दैट दिस डिटर्मिनेट इट शुड बी नेगेटिव फॉर मिनिमा पॉजिटिव फॉर मैक्सिम सो दिस इज फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द कंस्ट्रेंट एंड दिस इज एफ डबल डैश एक्स माइनस लैमडा जी डबल डैश एक्स एफ डबल डैश एफ डबल डैश टू वन माइनस लैमडा जी डबल डैश टू वन ये दोनों सेम ही होंगे एक्चुअली एफ डबल डैश वाई माइनस लैमडा जी डबल डैश वाई लेट्स ट्राई टू फाइंड दीज आउट सो बेटा दिस इज माई दिस इज माई ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन I have differentiated this objective function with respect to x. I get to x. With respect to y, I get to y. Iska fir se differentiation f double dash x will be two. F double dash with respect to y will also be two. Then x ka with respect to y will be zero, right? And same bit of y ka with respect to x will also be. Zero. If you differentiate this with respect to x, you will get zero. Now, better come to the constraint. Your constraint is given as this: x square plus x y plus y square minus three. So, if I differentiate this constraint, I will just minimize this. So, two x ka difference, uh, x square ka differentiation will be two x. X y ka differentiation will be y. So, you will get two x plus y. When you differentiate this with respect to y. x y ka differentiation will be x y square ka differentiation will be 2y so you will get x plus 2y now when you differentiate when you differentiate this again with respect to x you will get 2 you differentiate this again with respect to y you will get 2 and you differentiate this with respect to y you will get 1 and you differentiate this With respect to x, you will get one. My bad. This should not be zero. This is one, huh? Clear, Ogi, bad, beta. So I have got this. What have I got? I have got zero. First order derivatives of the constraint: g dash x, g dash x, g dash y, g dash y. Second order derivative: ye ho gaya, beta. F double dash x x minus lambda g double dash x x. So g double dash x x ye hai. एफ डबल डैश एक्स एक्स ये है और बीच में माइनस लैमडा है क्लियर हुआ सेम बेटा दिस इज एफ डबल डैश वाई वाई माइनस लैमडा जी डबल डैश वाई वाई तो एफ डबल डैश वाई वाई ये है दिस इज टू माइनस लैमडा जी डबल डैश वाई वाई ये है टू तो बेटा ये हो गया ये क्लियर हुआ बात को बेटा बेटा दिस इज एफ डबल डैश एक्स वाई माइनस लैमडा जी डबल डैश एक्स वाई ये वन था दिस इज लैमडा दिस इज जीरो सो दिस विल बी माइनस लैमडा माइनस लैमडा दिस इज द मेट्रिक्स फॉर्म नाउ आई जस्ट वांट टू फाइंड आउट लैमडा आई कैन फाइंड दैट थ्रू फॉर्मिंग द लेग्रांच सो लेट्स डू दैट सो वॉट इज माई लेग्रांच बेटा ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन माइनस लैमडा इन द कंस्ट्रेट डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स So differentiation of x square will be two x minus lambda, and differentiation of this thing with respect to x will be two x plus y equal to zero. This is the differentiation with respect to x. So if I just take this on the other side, I will get two x is equal to lambda two x plus y. Same bit of differentiate this Lagrange with respect to y. So differentiation of y square will be two y minus lambda. Differentiation of x y will be x. Differentiation of y square will be two y equal to zero. Take this on the other side. So, beta, you will get two y is equal to lambda into x plus two y. Divide equation one by two to eliminate lambda. So, left hand side me kya bachega, beta? Two x by two y equal to lambda two x plus y lambda x plus two y. So you will get x by y is equal to two x plus y upon x plus two y. Clear, oh, beta. So you will get x square plus two x y is equal to two x y plus y square. So this cancel will cancel out. So x square will be equal to y square. So y will be plus minus x. Jab under root, you will get. 
So you will get that y is plus minus x. This is your condition. Remember, whatever your condition you should get, it should be put back to the constraint. It should be put back to the constraint. So better to put this back in the constraint, I will have to take two things. Ek bari I will take y is equal to x and solve. Then I will, so y is equal to x and solve. Then in the other case, but I will take y is equal to minus x and solve. So when I take y is equal to x, so x ki jaga pe y, x ki jaga pe y. So what will I get? Um, x square plus x. Y ki jaga pe I have plugged in x. Plus y ki jaga pe I have plugged in x. Instead of y I have plugged in x is equal to 3. 3 x square is equal to 3. x square will be 1. x will be plus minus 1. But x is equal to y. So when x is 1, y is 1. When x is minus 1, y is minus 1. Then beta, I will start with the next thing that y is minus x. So jahan pe bhi y hai, uske jaga pe I am plugging in minus x. Right? So instead of y, I have written minus x. Instead of y, I have written minus x. So this is minus x whole squared. So but I will get x squared minus x square plus x square is equal to 3. So I will get x square as 3. So x will be plus minus root 3. So but when x is plus root 3, so y is minus x now. So y will be minus root 3. But when x is minus root 3, so y is minus x, so y will be root 3. Now finally, kya hai, beta? Hame lambda hai. what is lambda? Lambda ki value kya hai thi? What was lambda? If I just go to any equation, say equation 1 or equation 2, I can just find lambda. So if you go to this equation 2, lambda is what beta? 2y divided by x plus 2y. When you just take this here, so lambda will be 2y divided by x plus 2y. X or Y when in Kalilia, there are four cases. X is one, Y is one. X is minus one, Y is minus one. X is root three, Y is minus root three. X is minus root three, Y is root three. <coughs> Sorry. So for all these cases, now you will find lambda. In the case, may you will get lambda is two by three. And the remaining two cases, you will get lambda is two. Clear or better? So now, finally. I have four cases that I have. So what have I got? I have got x is 1, y is 1, lambda is 2 by 3, x is minus 1, y is minus 1, lambda is 2 by 3, x root 3, y minus root 3, lambda 2, x minus root 3, y root 3, lambda 2. These four values are my request. All these cases have to be plugged in back to the determinant. Ye dekho. Is determinant mein, you have to plug these values back. So suppose I start with case number 1 beta. Where x is 1, y is 1. I will just do one case with you. Huh? So if I take x as 1 and y as 1. So it would be 0. 2 plus 1, 3. 1 plus 2, 3. 3, 3. And beta, case mein, what was my lambda? My lambda ka value was 2 by 3. Right? So lambda will be 2 by 3. Huh, beta? So minus 2 by 3, minus 2 by 3. And 2 minus, this is 2 minus 2 into 2 by 3. So 2 minus 4 by 3, 6 minus 4 by 3, so 2 by 3. So beta, this will be 2 by 3, 2 by 3. Iska determinant hai. Just find out the determinant now. So this will be 0 minus 3. So this will be 2 minus minus 2 plus 3. This will be minus 2 minus 2. So you will get minus 3 into 4 plus 3 into minus 4. So it will be minus 12 minus 12 minus 24. So the determinant that you are getting in this case is minus 24. Yeah. This is less than 0. So when negative determinant aata, that's the minimum. Same you can check in the other one also. You will get minus 24. 
and for the remaining two you will get 24 greater than 0. So that means wherever you are getting a negative determinant, you have achieved the local minima. And wherever you have positive determinant, you have achieved local maximum. So in one, you have achieved local minima. And in the other, you have achieved local maximum. Beta, this is very important question. Try to practice this entirely. Okay, beta? Okay. Thank you, beta.